Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to this week's vlog, which is my Dark Academia reading vlog for the Spooky Season Spectacular. So I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little like I'm stuffed up and I'm tired. Um, the weather has changed. It is a lot cooler. It is perfect sweater weather for me. And so generally when the weather changes, I get a little stuffed up and I have to change some of my sleeping habits and some other of my uh, daily life habits. So I just get a little snuffly. But I'm really excited for this week's vlog. So in the past two weeks, I've only read one book uh, for the theme. But this week I have three books that I would like to read and I think I have a good chance of getting through two of them. So the group book that I am probably going to focus on first is My Dearest Darkest by Kayla Cottingham. This is a sapphic queer dark academia. So I believe these kids um, find some demon under the school and they do some possibly body horror so just keep that in mind. I think I had heard somewhere that there was body horror so just keep in mind of the triggers but they end up summoning this demon at the bottom of their school and now they have to do things for this demon. I am super excited to read this. I bought it the day it came out back in April and I've just been waiting for the time to be right to read this so I'm very, very excited. I'm really hoping it's going to be super good. <laughs> then I also have The Last Graduate by Naomi Novik. I own the first book. It's A Deadly Education um, and I loved it. It was a five star. It was one of my favorite, if not my favorite book of 2021 for me. So I'm really excited to finally pick up the second book. I have it from the library. I also have it over audio. So it'll probably be the first book I read over audio for this week. So I'm really excited to pick that up. And then, with all the time that I hopefully have left, <laughs> I want to pick up Babel by R.F. Kuang. So I'm sure you all have heard of this because it is everywhere. Everyone has bought it. Everyone is starting to pick it up and everyone is loving it. I'm included in this. I, I bought it right when it came out. I am really excited for it. It deals with colonialism as well as uh, magic through translation and magic through languages, which as someone who is studying to be a translator and someone who is studying multiple languages, I am super, super stoked and excited. So it's a bit chunky, which is why I'm saving it for last of these, but I also feel like if I have the time, I could read through this really quickly. I think as long as it like captures me and keeps my interest, which I'm sure it will, I'm gonna end up reading it really quickly but <laughs> um, but this is a readathon and this is a chunky book. So that's why it'll be the third on my priority, but hopefully I'll be motivated enough to get through the other two to get to this with plenty of time to finish it. So that's the plan for this week. Those are the three books that I want to read this week. So we shall see, hopefully it goes well. <laughs> Yeah, so it's Monday. It is my day off. I'm taking it really easy today because I am in so much pain. <laughs> Cause like I am, I had gotten used to performing a lot when I was younger, back when I was like actually dancing five to six days a week and performing multiple times throughout the year. But the the thing with this year is that we performed at Renfest, the Renaissance Fair, and that stage was absolutely terrible like it was at like a 30 degree slant there were holes and cracks and it was super slippery like we were in our hard shoe trying to like do things and I was like sliding all over the place it was oh, oh not the best stage to dance on but it was still like a ton of fun and I absolutely loved it but that just caused my muscles to work even harder than what I was used to just with dealing with slant and the slipperiness and everything and of course the adrenaline of oh my gosh I love Renfest I get to be there for two days and uh, I'm so excited so today I'm just kind of recovering from that physically I've got I would like to film two videos I I need to film one and I would like to film another I haven't done any prep work for it though so 
Yeah, so I've got some filming I need to do. I would like to start planning my October bullet journal so that it I don't film it late and then it doesn't go up late. <laughs> if I can get it planned and maybe even filmed before September ends, that would be wonderful. And then I've got some Instagram photos to take. I want to start making TikToks again. Like, I've got all kinds of fun bookish things that I want to do. Otherwise, I'm going to take it really easy and probably just watch some booktube, maybe watch a spooky movie. I've watched, like, They Slash Them, which is a new thriller horror. It's a slasher film this year. But I haven't really watched any other spooky movies. So I kind of I kind of really want to watch a spooky movie just because like I have a stuffy nose I want to cozy up with a blanket and like some hot chocolate or coffee or something and just vibe just chill but I also want to get started on listening to uh, the last graduate so yeah the, today is probably just gonna be super super chill I will let you know what I've started reading and how it's going it is much later in the day and I have had a lovely time just getting other things set up for the week and honestly just laying on the couch with a YouTube fireplace video and just having the sun stream on my face and curling up in my scarf and sweater. It was very nice. It was very restful. It was exactly what I needed. So, but I am finally going to start reading a Dark Academia book for this week. The two books that I really want to get to, and I think I can, are these two. Uh, I have Babylon here, just kind of for the end of it. I hope I get to it, but we'll see. This is a group book, so I think I'm going to prioritize this so I get it done because it's worth more points, and I can talk to people about it, and it feels like I should prioritize the group book, and I do really want to read it. Um, but I also do really want to read this, so it's a library book, but I have it for some time even after the Dark Academia week. I also have the um, audiobook from the library on my phone for this. I But I also really want to read this because it left off on such a cliffhanger. But I think for today, I'm probably going to read My Dearest Darkest, um, just because it might take me a little longer. I don't have the audio with it. I just feel like sitting here and, and reading um, versus this I have the audio for and so maybe like and especially because I'm home alone right now when I'm home alone right now it's actually quiet that I can read versus something like this it's like if my husband is home and is doing homework or is watching TV or YouTube or whatever it's easier for me to pop in headphones and follow along while he's here so I'll probably read this until he comes home um, yeah, so I think I'm going to start My Dearest Darkest. I am so happy and so excited. This is gonna be, and it's gonna be dark, which I really wanted something dark. <laughs> Okay, so I am about a hundred pages into my dearest darkest and it's encaptured me pretty good. Like normally I need to take more 
breaks or kind of get up, stretch around, just have something to distract me a little bit more so I could kind of refocus on the book. But I sat here and read 100 pages. Easy. So it's it's really nice how it's captured me. I It's dual POV, so we have one character, Finch, who is a transfer student to the school and her parents and her were driving back from her audition, saw this creepy stag thing, and drove off the bridge, and her parents died, but Finch, Finch also drowned, but then somehow came back to life, and she's got this whole, like, super pale, white hair, kind of ghostly, like, slower heartbeat, various, like, things that are kind of unexplainable. And then we've got Selena, who is this, like, kind of leader of a popular group and she's actually bisexual and I think our main character is also like Finch is also bisexual but doesn't know it yet um but Selena has quite a bit of an attitude and normally I wouldn't mind it but well no sometimes I don't mind it but a lot of times I do like if Selena is supposed to be our love interest I don't like her attitude very much but it seems to be changing or it has like the potential to soften up again it just kind of seems like she's always been like that bossy leader of the group kind of popular girl so i'm not a big fan of her i really hope that changes but it's just hard to get on board with that but other than that i'm liking it it's very creepy lots of creepy scenes and mysteries i think i'm starting to piece together some things but I still have a lot of questions as well, so I'm really happy about like my theories versus what I have no clue on. So yeah, I'm gonna sit here and keep reading, but I knew that if I didn't give an update on 100 pages, I probably wouldn't give any updates till the end of the book. So yeah, 100 pages in, it's 350 pages exactly, so I'm just under one third of the way through, but I'm going to keep reading it and uh, depending on how much progress I make tonight, if I make significant progress, I'll update you again. Otherwise, I'll probably update you tomorrow morning. <laughs> couch I just don't update you anywhere else good morning um, I made myself coffee which I don't normally drink coffee but I just felt like coffee and editing go together I've got half an hour before I need to go to work and I am editing the last week's vampire vlog I read a little bit more of my dearest darkest I read like psh, psh, yeah, 25 pages since I last updated, so not too much has changed. Um, other than, I don't think there's, a, well, I think it's too early to say that there isn't body horror. Because, like, they are, the ghost that they found, ghost, we don't know what she is, um, is, like, making their skin clear and doing their hair nicely and, like, kind of fixing them up and things like that. So I, I'm curious if that turns gruesome or not. Yeah, like we, we've got, the spooky is kind of getting out of relaxed a little bit. So I'm, I'm intrigued to see as to where this is going. <sighs> so I'm just going to keep editing. But I guess that's my update. I'm hoping to finish it by sometime tomorrow. I, I want to finish editing this to, this morning if I can, which I don't know if I can. Um, and then I... Would love to read more tonight and hopefully finish it tomorrow so that I can listen to slash read The Last Graduate before the weekend and then over the weekend have Babel. Um, I do have plans this weekend outside of work because I do work on the weekends. So I definitely won't be able to finish Babel, but I... I really want to get these two books done before the weekend though, just just to be sure. Here's my update for this morning. I'll probably see you probably later tonight after I read some more. So, bye! Alright, 
I am about to head to bed because we are tired and I have to get up for work tomorrow. But I am two thirds of the way through this. I am at like two page two hundred and thirty five. Uh, and oh my goodness, this is getting so good. Like there are certain elements that I'm like, okay, this is kind of a debut novel. Like I don't quite think this is how that would go or just wasn't quite there just with a couple of small elements. But I am really enjoying this. Yes, there is body horror in it. It is coming into play now. So keep that in mind if you're going to pick this up. But like the characters are really grown on me. I keep, like, every time we learn new information about, like, the ghostly character, uh, I, my theories have to reform, because it's like, oh, well, then maybe it's like this, or maybe it goes this way. Like, I'm constantly, because I'm learning new things, and I'm always wrong, it's just so, like, twisty, and I'm like, oh, I bet she has to do this in order for this to happen, and, like, it's it's so good I very much enjoy it this I just I don't want to put it down it keeps my attention like and I just I felt like I haven't had that with a book in quite a while of just a book that I'm physically reading no audio just sit on the couch and read for a few hours it's just wonderful I'll wake up and I'll probably immediately go to work I won't update in the morning and I'm not gonna read anymore tonight like I'm gonna go to bed um, but then I'll come home and I'll try and read more of it. I would really love to finish this tomorrow. Like I said, I only have about one third of it left. So I've got just over 100 pages left. So it is entirely possible. I do need to like do some laundry and I would like to um, edit Sunday's video. But for the most part, I don't have a lot that I need to do tomorrow. So hopefully I can just like sit and finish it tomorrow after work. So very very excited about that and then I can move on to the last graduate which I'm also super excited for but yeah so that's my update for tonight and I will talk to you all tomorrow hi hello happy Wednesday um so it is oh geez it's 5 40 I got home from work a little bit ago and instead of being a good little booktuber and editing my video for Sunday, I am actually going to head to the pub early. Normally I get there a little before 7 as Irish dancing is from 7 to 9 and I am just going to read. I'm bringing headphones so I can listen to music and kind of blur out any noise there may be in the pub already. Um, but I really want to finish My Dearest Darkest and then if I do finish that I can start the last graduate. I'm not bringing the physical copy with me just because I didn't have enough room in my um, uh, book sleeve, but I don't think I'll finish My Dearest Darkest in the hour I have before Irish Dance people start showing up. But yeah, I'm just gonna head there early and chill and vibe. So I don't know if I'll update again, but that's the plan. Hopefully I can finish it or get close to finishing it so I can finish it later tonight. Alright, let's go.
is Saturday, the first of October. Woohoo! Um, so I finished my dearest darkest the other day. I really liked it. I think I'm giving it 4.5 out of 5 stars. There were only a few things that I was kind of wishing uh, from it. There were just a few elements that was very clear. This is a debut novel and something that could have been fleshed out or wasn't as realistic. For our like demon character, she started off as like, you don't know what she is, if she's a good thing or not. So I wish there was a little more doubt in my mind at the beginning, like she had done things to throw us off the trail a little more about she might actually not be the worst thing in the world. Um, even if it's not throwing off the reader, but just to throw off the characters, because it was a very fast switch. So I wish that there had been a little bit more to thicken it up there. But otherwise, I loved it. Four out of five, four point five out of five stars. Would very much recommend if you like queer body horror, uh, thriller horror books. So. Her newest book is just announced to come out next year. Um, I don't know if I'm... I want to pick it up because I liked this book and I like her writing. But the premise of her other book sounds very creative and interesting. But I don't know if it's super up my alley. So we'll see. We'll see next year. Um, and then I have started The Last Graduate. Like very, very briefly started. Like 20, 30 pages in. So, I want to spend some time reading this. It is Saturday and I have plans tonight, so I don't know I'm going to be able to finish it by the end of this week. I really want to. I love, I, the thing is, is I want to read this and then I want to immediately read Babel because they're both very dark, they're both dark academia with heavy language focuses. Because like our main character here studies like a bunch of languages and has spells in different lands. Uh, languages and has to translate. I forgot that was one thing that I loved so much about this book um, was studying ancient languages like Arabic and Sanskrit and Greek and all those and then we've got Babel which is dark academia studying old languages Latin, Greek, Hebrew. So I really want to read both of them I just don't really have the time. But I'm not feeling well. I am sick. I'm surviving off of tea, um, so hopefully I will feel better soon. Sunday. It is the last day of this week for Dark Academia. As I said, I finished my Dearest Darkest, the grip book, and I have actually started The Last Graduate by Neil Novik. This is the second book in the Skull Romance trilogy. The third one, The Golden Enclaves, just came out. Um, I am borrowing it from the library, but I own the first one. Anyway, I, I am about a quarter of the way through and I'm really enjoying it so far. I am going to try and finish it today so that it can count. In a perfect world, I would finish this and then start Babel, but yeah, we just went on a beautiful walk in, and the weather is actually surprisingly warm, so I am feeling quite under the weather, so I will not be going out tonight as I normally do, but that just gives me more time for reading, so I'm going to go ahead and read this, hopefully we can finish it, <laughs> so let's go.
so it is the end of this vlog. There are a couple of things I want to do in this last few clips, though. Yes, I am still sick, which is why I sound very different to how I normally sound. Um, but I want to say, so it is Monday, and the vlog, or the week, ends on Sundays. Um, and last night, I did actually stay up and finish The Last Graduate by Naomi Novik. Um, I am giving this 4 out of 5 stars. I thought it was really good. I think I enjoyed the first one a little bit better because I t took issue with this one, what a lot of people take issue with, like, the first one in the entire series, is that there is just so much information and, like, ranty about the world. I, personally, I really liked it in the first book. I loved all these long tangents that the author went on about the world, about the magic system, about the school, how it all works. In this one, it got to be a little much. I think it started to take away and distract from the book, which is why I finally noticed that it was happening. So that kind of got to be a little bit. I also wish there was more character development with Orion, the love interest. I think he just wasn't here very much in the book, and when he was, it was just so simplified. I wish he had been a little more dynamic in the book. And there was a little more to him but it did end on another cliffhanger and the golden enclaves just came out at the end of september so i am definitely going to have to finish it up i still very much loved the book and that all the directions it took there is so much logic in this book but i love how naomi novik like clearly lays it out so that you can understand because i would not have followed everything without a clear explanation i love that our main character sticked to who she was even though we started the book series with her being like, I'm probably going to end up being an evil person. I don't want to, so I'm not going to do evil things. But also, I'm probably going to end up like that way, and I'm just going to be rude and fun for myself. She was more against being an evil person, but she still kept the, I, I'm rude, and I don't care what you think of me, and I just need to live my life. But now my life is going to be saving your life as well. Like, I, I don't know, I loved that kind of main character and that attitude that she had, and I thought it was nice and consistent, which was really cool. So, I really look forward to it. I love how in this book we got to see more of the outside world building, even though we were still stuck in the Scholomance, like we were still stuck in the school. There was a lot more talk about the politics with the enclaves outside the school, and I love how those the issues that they face mirror our real world issues of, like, white people making something great and then not diversifying or just, you know, controlling other people's and it was just it being such a bad thing and an unfair thing. So I thought that was really cool to kind of read about that in this world that's also happening. Just a lot to it, I feel like. And this was, I think, a great sequel. Normally in trilogies, the middle book is like the worst for me. But I think it, it could still end up being the worst one, but I still really liked it, and I don't think it will end up being the worst one. But I still very much enjoyed this, so if you're okay with lots of ex explanation, and, but yet a very in-depth world and a highly logical situation, you should pick this up. I finished this book, uh, which is another 25 points, and I finished this book, which is 75 points because it is the group book. So there, I just got a, a hundred points right here. So I am now at 250. I'm 50 points away from um, crossing over to being goblin ruler, like a uh, goblin queen. So, uh, but next week I should have no problem with that as the theme is witches and I have a whole bunch of witchy books and some of them are a little bit shorter so hopefully I can zip through them and really start racking up those points. The other thing is that in an earlier clip, I mentioned going to Half Price Books, and I did that. And then my camera decided that it didn't have enough storage to film any of the experience. <laughs> so, I'm just going to do a quick little haul of what I got there. Quick a minute. So, in this mini haul, I'm going to start off with Spy X Family, Volumes 7 and 8. Oh, I gotta take these stickers off. Um, but it's Volumes 7 and 8. I have Volumes 1 through 6. Now I have these, I can read them, and I am watching the anime, um, and I am almost caught up in the anime to where I was in the manga, so now it's good that I have these next two, that I can continue on <laughs> in both ways. I also picked up 
the School for Good and Evil Quest for Glory, which is the first book in the second trilogy, or the fourth book if you're looking at it as a six book series. I own the first three books, and I want to own them all. I have read them all, which is why I want to own them all. Also, the movie adaptation for the first one is coming out in a couple weeks. That's why I wanted to finish the series, was to prepare for the movie adaptation. And now I am starting to try and get all the books in the series. So now I have book number four. Yay. This is a pretty big book haul for 30 bucks. I was so pleased because we still have a whole other trilogy that I bought. Okay. Like, it's insane. They were each $5 and I was like, what? No way. But that is the Grishaverse trilogy. So, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm. <laughs> Ruin and Rising. Um, yeah, I bought this entire trilogy and I have read the entire trilogy and I have feelings about the entire trilogy. I bought this because I, I still really wanted to own the books even after I read them. I think that the first one is nostalgic enough, the world building idea is powerful enough that even if the second book sucks and the third book is okay, I still really want these on my shelves. I still really want to have the Lee Bardugo collection. I have Six of Crows. I haven't read it yet. That's kind of my next Lee Bardugo journey thing is getting Six of Crows and the second book and the duology for that one. Then I'm going to get the other set duology set thing. So I want to own all the books and I want to read all the books. They're not the original covers that I've read, but I don't mind. I do like these covers. I think they are very pretty. The only thing that really bothers me, but I also know that there's, I wouldn't get the books in good condition without the Netflix adaptation sticker. This thing does not come off, it is printed on the cover of the book, and that's really annoying. So I know that it was going to be very difficult to try and get all matching covers in as really good condition, like these are in really good condition. Um, without that sticker, so I just kind of bit the bullet and accepted the fact that they were going to have to have the Netflix sticker on them. <sighs> Sigh. So yeah, those are all the books that I got for $30 at Half Price Books. Like, that was a lot. <laughs> I bought six books um, this month, so that is my October uh, book thing. However, I still, I forgot to bring the books that I was going to sell to Half Price Books, and whatever money I made selling was going to add on to my book budget. So there is also the possibility that I could buy another book or two with this big old stack that I'm going to uh, sell to Half Price Books. So hopefully I'll do that soon. If you're interested in that, it'll probably be in the next vlog, which again, I said is witchy themed, super excited lots of good books uh yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below if you are participating or if you have any suggestions for any of the weeks i will have the spooky season spectacular announcement video linked down below as well so you can know what i'm talking about what i'm doing feel free to subscribe i post videos twice a week generally on sundays and wednesdays i also have bookish social media instagram tiktok twitter goodreads all that jazz you can follow me on those and see what I'm reading in current time and what my thoughts are on it. But yeah, until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.